that didn't take long. Goat is all ready and we're going to be doing a bit of exploring in Perth. We're going to be running around Varuna Dam. So I'm just waiting for Damo and we're going to be on our way but we're all packed and uh, ready to go. Navarino Caravan Park. Yeah, yeah. So you come here and you can book unpowered sites, powered sites, camp, caravan, camper trail, all that sort of good stuff. Um, and they they basically run the lake area down here. Oh, so really? It's really nice. You come in here and you can get you know you can get food, you get all your little necessities and odds and bods and that kind of stuff. Super friendly people, really good. That's awesome. Go out of your way to help them. That's perfect. Yeah, really you know the the cost. How much the cost usually? Hey. What's the price usually? What's the pricing like? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not too bad. You can usually get an unpowered site for about $15 on a motorbike. Oh, no, that's easy. So that's good. You can still use all the facilities. I mean, the showers here and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, no, I, no, no. I stayed here one weekend and I got absolutely... Um, so I come up here and book the site so I can set up a tarp and everything. And they let me a little heater blower and I got free reign of the laundry to dry all my gear out. <laughs> so they're yeah, really, really good. Oh, really good man. Place. That is perfect. The amount of water this must be holding back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and this thing's low. It's low at the moment, real low. Oh really? Yeah. Jeez, that was funny. As you can see, super popular area. Oh yeah. Come down. People come down here four wheel driving. There's like. A heap of areas. We'll ride through them today and have a look around. You can see where, like, people just take these massive four drives and they still get stuck. There's so many recoveries done down here. But you can see, like, there's a perfectly good road just behind you over there. <laughs> but uh, we'll definitely go through the puddle. <laughs> you know, perfect roads aren't a challenge, are they? <laughs> Oh. Too many people come down and trash the place. Unfortunately, 
Yeah, it's a pain. A couple of, what about a couple of Australia days ago? There was a big fight down here. Someone got stabbed. Ah. That's bad necessary. Downhill into a river. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. Track, some of them are sort of twin track forward drivey type stuff, but nothing particularly technical, but a little bit of low speed stuff, just sort of, you know, get you used to moving around on your bike and that kind of stuff if you've never done it before, so it's not too bad an area to come down and, uh, and learn, no. or even just come down and have a, have a chill day in the bush. Yeah, no, it's a perfect yeah, spot, man. A bit of everything. That was nice and almost. Pretty hard on the rear brake over here. That didn't take long. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. didn't take long. Yeah. <sighs> so probably better off just walking it down in, uh, in first gear and just using your clutch to brake you. I need to uh, deflate my tyres. 
Okay. That's, the, that'll, that's what we get down here. We are, mate. That'll fix it. Whew. <sighs> Our crash bar's doing well. Hey? No, I'm saying crash bars are doing well. <laughs> oh. Still up on the high ground. Tire deflating time. Whew. That's a little bit more washed out and rutted than the last time I was here, so. Yeah. That was as much of a surprise for you as it was for me then. <laughs> I think since I. What are we at? 30. Uh, what do you say? Down to 25. Yeah, give it a try. I've got an air compressor with me. I'm actually completely unprepared for this. I didn't bring anything. I've got everything. Got that on video too. <laughs> <laughs> <Whew>. Okay. <laughs> that was very well controlled. Thank you. It was all part <laughs> of the plan. I apologize for how extreme it was. <laughs> Filmed it? Huh? Filmed yeah. it? Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Written all. Yep. What is blood full of water? Oh, oh really? <laughs> Jeez. Super keen. Super keen. Do you want to lean back or forwards? <laughs> Sorry? With the pea gravel. Yeah. Do you want to lean backwards or forwards? Where do you want the weight? I, I tend to lean forwards because as long as I'm controlling the front, I'm happy to let the back move around a little bit. Okay. So, but in, in deeper stuff, I tend to try and just center myself on the bike. But coming up a hill like that, I'll tend to lean forward and just let the back work a little bit. But okay. not so much that I'm constantly spinning and breaking traction. Okay. Hills like that, if you've got traction control on your bike, it's all off. Yeah, I was going to say, if you've got a couple of stages, just have go up and down that and try your different stages of traction control, and you can see how yeah. much it can really give you and be an interference when you're trying to get up stuff like that. No, I turn it off. 
I have no power. That's not good. I was just busy looking at that guy over there going, he wishes he wished he had, had a starter motor. Uh, like none. Everything's on. Have you tried turning it off and on? Yeah, yep. Are we neutral? <laughs> <laughs> Your lights are on? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Alright. So while I got you guys here, the cable had just come up. We are back up and riding again. <laughs> this is the bad little track, it's sort of nice and flowy, nothing too technical, um, but it's just you so they don't let the four wheel drivers down here. Oh, perfect. Where'd it go? <sighs> oh, I do not want to get stung by a hornet. <sighs> okay, that wasn't good. Let us continue. The idea of getting stung by a hornet would uh, not be ideal, that's for sure. This stuff I understand. He rather was just. What did you do? <laughs> oh, you're stuck. Wait, 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 got you. Okay, what 
35 degree stuff. Okay, I got a beautiful little view. Just park the bike up here so I can get a nice photo. That'll do it. Uh, we'd rather get it the other way. Oops. Okay, in gear. No, that's not right. Now for a bit of photo shoot. Nice epic spot. We'd not mind bringing the kayaks here, so we're probably going to ride through there. First, well, a couple, little river crossing. Get us going. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, <laughs> Oi. Okay, so we're just gonna skate it out that way. Yeah, we're we'll trying to drag drag the front around. There we go. There we go. Should get it in. As long as I can get her over the center hump. <sighs> There we go. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, my stuff in there. This was not a good idea. Like that wheel is sliding. in a bush. That's one way to do it. <laughs> So we made it to Pajara Pies, had a bit of a run. Damo's bike did not run out of fuel at all. Touch wood. Did. Touch wood, yeah, we still need to make it about 43 minutes home. Should do it. This thing is very impressive. I'm gonna to see the damage when I get home and just maybe upgrade those. But yeah, guys, it was a great video. Today I was out with the Wombat Group, so uh, there'll be a link in the description if you are in Western Australia and into adventure riding. Um, then Damo runs the group and 
he'll take you on some adventures. But yeah, guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and do all the things. And remember, folks, if you're stuck in a rut, try something new, pick something old, change something now. Cheers, bye.